Hey everyone, it's Eric here from Mavix. Got another video for you guys today. As you well know, we actually do lots of board repairs on this channel. We show lots of stuff as well. We also do like USB data recoveries. We show some hard drive, little quick tutorials, fixes, and some data recoveries from there as well. And we're actually a data recovery center. We actually have a clean room. We have lots of tools such as like the PC3000 to help us for data recovery. And um, today we're actually going to be showing a pretty interesting one. It's going to be pretty much diagnosing a hard drive that is actually clicking. And you're wondering, well, if a hard drive is clicking, what's actually going on in there? Now, not all the cases are always going to be the same. We're going to be showing you one today that is really interesting because it's clicking and we're going to go be in our clean room. And let's just get right into it because I think you guys will love this one. So we're going to be removing the drive label. Usually the label has drive information, so it's always good practice just to remove it very carefully. Also, the plate screws are important to remove at this point uh, because there's also not just screws to the plate, but it's part of the drive as well. Now we have the drive open. We're gonna be doing an inspection. We see the arm is parked, not on the platter itself. We're gonna be checking this filter in the corner first to see if it's dirty. It looks to be pretty clean, so we're gonna put it back in. Now we're gonna be inspecting uh, the platter and we're using this special green light that's gonna be showing debris or any scratches or micro scratches. We see there's actually some contamination to the platter here and we're gonna just be cleaning it. We need to be very careful, especially in this process. Now we're gonna actually be turning it on and you're gonna see the problem with the drive itself. And this is the problem that, that you may actually see or hear sometimes. The arm is moving, but you can see the head is actually very, very weak. And we can also have a problem with the motor as well and we would need to order a donor for a replacement. Now we're gonna be putting the drive back. And again, it's very important to do this absolutely carefully because you can still damage any of the open parts that are in there. And then we can put back the label and then we will just wait for the donor to come in and then do the head replacement. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching and learned something today on the process of doing a diagnosis for a drive, especially in the clean room. Again, we are a data recovery center. We do uh, these types of levels uh, for data recovery. We can do head replacements. We have a clean room. We have a PC3000 portable. So we do lots of stuff uh, for drives and for customers for that uh, to recover the data. And always, even when you do this, it still isn't going to be completed because then you still have to extract the data and there still can be other problems as well. Um, doing that whole entire process, there can be encryptions and just getting the data off is, is always a lot of work. So, but that's why we're here. We're always here to help. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please leave a like. It really just helps a lot. Subscribe for more content, data recoveries, uh, motherboard repairs, motherboard repairs for data recoveries, USB repairs for data recoveries, do lots of cool things. So that, so hope you guys are watching. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care. Bye.